Hey guys. So I'm gonna do my little soapbox thing because I haven't done it in like three days or whatever. Um, anyways, it's been a long day. Um, of course, you know, obviously uh, we're busy at work, all that jazz. Um, but I figured I'd share since it's like in the moment and I, that's what like this whole thing is about is in the moment. What's up, Justin? You're like always the first one on here, dude. That's awesome. Um, anyways, it's always in the moment and that's why I do these things cause it's in the moment. So I feel like shit, like super duper duper shit. Um, and it's not cause I'm sick, like eh, eh, sick. And it's not cause, um, you know, I'm like stuffy nose and congested and spitting up color or whatever. I actually like slept with a heating pad last night and it's because of my endo, my endometriosis. So I want to like share this with you because it seems to be like a more popular thing that's now going on. Like all these females out there are like now got endometriosis and listen, I had endometriosis. I'm 32. I've had endometriosis since I was 16 years old. I missed my entire senior year of high school um, because of that. I was literally like bedridden. And I had to go in front of a committee of people in my high school just so I would graduate. And yes, I still graduated with 3.9. So don't touch me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I went through the uh, committee. But yeah, I mean, when you have pain like that, dude, psh, I'm telling you, it's, 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 it sucks. Because you can't, like, nobody can see it. They can't, like, physically see, like, what the hell is going on. So... I mean, you can only explain, you know, that you're like doubled over in pain. I feel like I want to throw up because I'm in so much pain and all I want to do is lay in bed all day, but obviously that's impossible for me to do. Um, so anyways, hi, Mutter. My mom's on here. Her name's Sita. I won't say anything about her not liking animals since she was upset I said something the other day. <laughs> Come on, mom. I got to bust your chops a little bit. Anyways. So yesterday was me and John's um, anniversary, 11 years, going on 11 years, I guess. Um, and uh, man, I tell you, we've been together a long time, been through some trials and tribulations, and we are where we at, at today. Um, we work together every single day. We're together all day, every day. Then we come out, we hang out at home, we get up, and then we hang out all day, and then we hang out on the weekends, and then, you know, we're just literally together 24 hours a day. You know, some people are like, oh, I'm with my significant other 24 hours a day, and they're really not with them 24 hours a day. Me and him, we're together 24 hours a day. Um, but anyways, we're best friends, so it's, like, fun, and it's easy, because we don't fight or, you know, bicker at each other for stupid shit. So, um, but anyways, I had to tell you guys the cool story about how, like, me and John met. And I'll make it a short version because everybody always asks, like, how did me and John meet? We met through a mutual friend. Um, if I leave this part out, he's going to be pissed that um, I didn't tell you guys exactly <laughs> what happened. But anyways, we met through a mutual friend. It was at like 3 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, whatever, at some friend's house. And I know, Michelle, you know this story too. But we met there. We were friends, like, hanging out, whatever, having a good old time. And, uh, you know, we started, don't ask what we were doing so much at this house or whatever, but you know, we were partying. Okay. It's 21. Get over it. So anyways, um, he had asked me and you know, I'm a, like, I'm a bitch. So I was like, ugh, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm the best. I'm the bomb. Like, mm, you know, always telling the guys to get going, get you, get you, get you going. Anyways. Um, so he was like, he had asked me, he goes, so he goes, oh, sure. He's like, are you hot? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. And he's like, you sure about that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And he goes, oh, that's okay. He's like, it's funny because, you know, you're, you're, you're sweating a little bit. And I'm like, and I said it super bitchy. He'll tell you too. He go, I go, I don't sweat. And he goes, well, by the looks of your shirt, <laughs> kind of looks like you're sweating. <laughs> Sure enough, I was sweating. And uh, that was like, damn, this guy got me. I was like, man, I might have to hang out with this guy because he was the first guy that actually got me telling me that I sweat. I mean, how dare you tell me I sweat? I mean, what the hell is wrong with you telling me I sweat? I mean, hello, I'm cute. I'm in a dress. I'm 21. I run shit. Don't tell me I sweat. I have sweat pits. <laughs> oh my god, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> so 
So anyways, I'll share that story with you guys because you're going to be so pissed if I like leave it out. Anyways, so it was like a match made in heaven. Uh, it wasn't the very first time a match made in heaven, but I would say two weeks later, we ran into each other. Long story short, here's Gasparilla Weekend. How funny. We end up hanging out on Gasparilla Weekend and just, uh, you know, hung out. Everything was perfect. Moved in two weeks later. Everybody thought we were crazy. You know how we, us women, move in. You know, we just kind of like slowly but surely like bring a bag over with like, you know, a couple things here and there. A little deodorant. Starts off with like a little drawer. It's like, I'm just going to put my pajamas in here. So I put my, jam my jammies in there. You know, put my little shampoo in the in the shower and all that. And uh, <laughs> just moved in. We just moved in. So anyways, I moved in like after two weeks. Everybody thought we were crazy as hell. And you got to remember John's Greek. So he comes from like a very very solid greek background you know this is like everything's so traditional and me and john did everything ass backwards and super non-traditional so anyways we purposely okay skipping forward purposely got pregnant because i told him my whole story about endometriosis and uh you know the doctor said i'm not gonna be able to have kids and i'm not gonna be able to get pregnant there's nothing you're gonna be able to do that's what they said i'm not gonna have a baby and he said well he's like i'm greek and i have super sperm and you're gonna have baby. We're gonna have baby. So, turn off first try. Boom, Peter comes. And this was planned. This was not like, oops. We no no. We planned it. So, anyways, um, people thought we were crazy. And I'm telling you, like, nobody but maybe his mom. And his mom's super cool. I love Diane. But I swear, I feel like nobody believed in our relationship or like thought we were crazy and uh, we weren't going to get very far. I was totally like different than what he would probably initially marry. Like I didn't cook, I didn't clean, I didn't do any of that stuff. And it's because, okay, because I was going to college and working two jobs. So when you work two jobs and go to college, you don't cook and clean. You stop at McDonald's, you eat something on the way in and then go to work, go to sleep, go, go home and do your homework or whatever you had to do and get up the next day and do it all over again. I was operating on four hours of sleep. I didn't have time to clean shit. So anyways, I'm like, I don't clean. I make money, you know? So, I mean, I can make money. <laughs> I'm smart <laughs> and I'm useful, I swear. So anyways, um, that's our like baby story, okay? Um, we worked together in like the nightclub industry type of thing. He ran like the social media and stuff for some Tampa places. And I did the go-go dancers and their outfits. And this was a side gig, you know, aside from like our day jobs of what we did. Um, fast forward. And, uh, you know, we opened tight medical center and I don't know, we're here. This is like 11 years later. You know, we have Peter. We're happily married. Um, I couldn't ask for a better relationship if I tried. So I am blessed blessed, blessed, blessed to have him. And, uh, he's my rock. So, you know, I love him to death and I couldn't ask for anything better, but for all you people out there that didn't believe in us, hello, here we are. You know, we're married 11 years, have business, have baby hanging out. So, um, it's nice. What's up Mina and Mark and Daniel, Daniel, I hope you're feeling better. I know you weren't feeling good. It's not really much of feeling better, but Hang in there, I promise you'll you'll get through it. I promise I'll say a prayer for you tonight. Jackie, I think that was so cool that somebody put that post out on Crunch um, with a Titan shirt and her transformation. That was super cool. So that that that's the kind of stuff that like keeps me going. Or maybe text messages. I got a text message from a patient today, and I'm sure she'll probably watch this at some point. Um, where she was just, she didn't even need to order or anything. She just wrote us like, Hey, I just want to say thank you. Like she's a charge nurse or, you know, um, cardiac and she works like 12, 13, 14 hour shifts at a time. And that can be tough. I mean, that's really tough. And she just wrote us just to specifically tell us like, Hey, thank you. I just want to tell you guys how much you guys have changed my life. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do my job and I wouldn't be able to help people. So things like that make it totally worth staying up till three o'clock in the morning and, doing everything I need to do to make sure that everything runs as smooth as possible in my wonderful OCD land of type medical. So um, anyways, I figured I'd give you the short version. I didn't get to come on here yesterday because we went to you know dinner and this is after a very long day at work. So I figured I'd tell you guys the short version story of me and John and <laughs> 
that's not like a like a love story, you know, like, hey, this guy met me and he told me that I had a, he was, that I was sweating and that I told him bullshit and he told me, well, hmm, take a look in the mirror and I was like, oh, hmm, maybe I am. <laughs> let me, uh, let me go, uh, I'm gonna go clean this up for a second. Thank you very much for recognizing that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll see you guys later. And uh, thanks for tuning in to my wonderful soapbox and my nappy hair that needs to be washed. It hasn't been washed in three days because this is hella, hella long to wash. And uh, I'm about to eat some dinner and get some rest, put a heating pad on, and call it a day. See ya.